recording. Do you want to do the recording and saving and uploading? Sure. Okay. All right. So just some some October October stuff. Um, an overview of the month and what we'll be talking about today. You've probably noticed that Jamberry is calling October through December the home stretch, um, the ending of the year, getting us ready um, to launch into the next year, which is crazy that <laughs> it's already October. But um, so the idea that Jamberry has behind the home stretch um, phrase that they've been talking about is really using this time to push through to the end of the year. Um, for those of you who are new, this is the biggest time of the year for our businesses usually when you'll see the, the largest number of sales and um, but that said, you have to take advantage of that time in order for that to happen. Um, so we want to talk about some ways that you can, thank you, take advantage of the next couple of months to really build your business and um, boost it into 2017. So, I will just start with a few announcements and then we'll jump into the training. Make sure that you are constantly checking the area meeting tab on your workstation because there are always new meetings um, being posted there. Um, it's, it's really important that we go to things that are around us and meet other consultants and network with them. So make sure that you are, if you're new, the area meeting tab is when you sign in on the left side, there are some different um, square tabs that you can push and the, the uh, calendar tab, you will push that and then from there, you can see the different Jamboree events that are in your area and filter them. Um, so be checking that and if you see something in your area, please try to go. There will often be someone from home office there, um, <clears throat> but very important to, to continue feeding yourself and to be plugged in with the local Jamboree community. Um, the Power Start groups, make sure that if you have someone who joined your team and is still in their Fast Start, that they are joining the appropriate Jamberry Power Start groups. Um, those are headed up now by Johnny On, and he's also making himself available to do coaching calls with people who are in their fast starts. So even if that's not you, um, you know, I'm sharing with all of my new team members to please join the, the Power Start group. It's always for the month. So right now it will be Power Start October, and they can join that and get, um, you know, coaching and community with other women who have joined the same month as them. And um, you can also contact, have them contact Johnny and they can get a, a personal coaching call with him, which would be a fabulous way to get your new recruits going. Um, all right. So there's that. We have some incentives this month. Um, so October continues on with the incentive that we had running um, in October, I'm sorry, in September. Um, so this particular incentive is just for the US and Canada. Um, but if you have someone join your team between September 1st and October 31st, they have the opportunity to earn back the total cost of their kit. So when they hit their first fast start, in addition to getting the product credit that they would normally receive, they'll also receive um, 
50 US or 65 Canadian cash rebate. Um, and then if they receive their triple fast start, in addition to all the other things they would be getting for that, they would also receive another 50 US or 65 Canadian dollar cash rebate. So if you are in one of those markets, please, please use that. It's such a powerful tool um, to bring some new recruits on during this time. Um, and then we also have the new, um, the new October incentive, which is for all markets, just a little bit tweaked depending on which one you're in. So um, I don't know about you, but I was pretty excited when I saw the planner. And I was like, okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I will be getting this planner. <laughs> it is pretty cute. So, um, yeah, I hope they show us more pictures of it, too. I'm wondering how it compares to the, the current um, Jamboree planner. But. Um, Molly, yes. I don't know if Jessica was going to mention this, but Stacy did tell us about the planner. Um, and it's more streamlined <clears throat> and smaller, which I'm very excited about. She's like, because the other one was a million pounds. Um, and it's more, it has more space to write. I know. <laughs> Um, so I was very excited. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit sleeker, um, with more room to write. So I was very excited about that. Yeah. So room to write like inside, just more like no, like bigger spaces, bigger areas and stuff to write, which I write really big. So I'm very excited about that. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that, um, yeah, I think the planner is a fabulous incentive. So I hope that each of you will be going after that. Um, and it's really not that hard to, to achieve. Um, in the US and Canada, um, you just have to sell, five, or yeah, in the US and Canada, you have to sell $500 in October. And I know for some of you, that might be a little bit of a stretch, but um, I think you can do it. Um, I know you can do it. And uh, hopefully some of the, the stuff we'll be talking about in this meeting will give you some ideas on how you can can strategize to get that 500 um, PRV. You know, if you think about it, if you stretch yourself outside of your comfort zone and just do a couple of home parties, you know, I know particularly in Canada, they do a lot of bulk orders and home parties. That's not a lot of parties to get to 500 PRV. So I know that, that you ladies can do that. And then in the UK, Australia and New Zealand, you only have to do 200 PRV in October and in November. So I, it's both months you have to do the 200, um, which those are our top two selling months of the entire year. So I know that, that you ladies can do that. And then you have to recruit a total number of three new team members. So during that whole you know 61 days, um, three new team members. So for all markets, it's a totally achievable incentive and I'm, I'm very excited. All right. So let me recognize a few ladies on my team and then Jessica's going to share a little bit about regionals. Um, some of the things that uh, she learned there and some of the new, um, things for the U.S. and Canadian market. And I know we have some U.K. girls on this call, so if any of you want to share anything from your um, conference that you went to a couple weeks ago, just let us know and you can can jump in and share some of, some of the things you all learned. All right, so... My personal team added 11 new team members last month, and four of them were in Mexico, so that's really exciting. Um, I want to shout out uh, Mandy Chapman. Um, she hit her first fast start, so congratulations to you, Mandy. Mandy's in the UK. Um, my top sales achiever, for those I'm team manager to, was... Jessica Faulkner, and she had almost 2,400 in sales. 
Um, and she and Whitney also both achieved the consistency challenge last month as well. So congratulations. Um, Lillian in the UK had six recruits last month. So she was my, my top recruiter, one in the US, two in the UK, and three in Mexico. And I also wanted to shout out one of my team members, Maria, who lives in Missouri. I don't think she's on the call right now, but I've been, I've had the pleasure of working with her one-on-one -on -one the last month and a half, two months, and she hasn't done a whole lot with her Jamberry business. She's just been using it for personal use, with which is fabulous. You know, everyone joins for different reasons, and she loves Jamberry, and She's been a consultant for a year and just, you know, mainly buying things for herself and selling to a few friends. Well, Maria is from Mexico. And so when she found out about the Mexico launch, she got really excited and she reached out to me and we've been working um, together and I've talked to her several times on the phone and she's really, you know, reaching out to her family and friends in Mexico. And she had um, over 600 in sales last month. I was so, I was blown away. Like she was just talking to everyone and, you know, you know, doing one-on-one -on -one demos with people and just really reaching out. And I was just really excited to see her hit that, um, that goal. And she, is, you know, hitting this month again and recruiting, you know, in Mexico. And so I just wanted to shout that out for her and also just use that um, as an example that it's never, you know, people sometimes change um, why they join. And, you know, you might have a team member that is, you know, using Jamboree mostly for team use, but keep that relationship up with them and get to know them and invest in them because you never know if down the road they might decide they want to do more with Jamberry, um, just like Maria. And she's very excited and she's hoping, you know, to build a team now. And so I'm, yeah, it's been fun to work with her and get to know her. So anyway, just a shout out to Maria for her hard work last month. And I think she's going to do a great job um, with Jamberry this next year. All right, Jessica, did you want to share anything? Sure. Um, first of all, I see Lynn and Jillian on the call who are two from the UK. So hi, ladies. Um, so yesterday was just amazing. Um, Anna Sullivan and I live in the same town, for those of you that do not know. And so she and I um, traveled together. And so that was fun. I don't think we stopped talking about Jamberry until maybe the very last like half hour of the ride home. So um, she and I are planning and doing a lot of different things that we can't wait to share with um, Aunt, uh, Molly and the rest of the team. So but yes, yesterday was amazing, and I want to just tell you a couple of things that one of the main things that Jamberry shared over and over and over again, and I think everyone mentioned it inside their um, talks that they gave, was follow-up and how important follow-up is to um, your business. And so that was like, I felt like the main thing that they discussed, although we discussed how to book parties and how to get contacts list, et cetera. That was huge. So one thing that I did want to share was about the bundles that they discussed. And then the other thing is just one thing that just sort of hit out to me that I thought was um, something that I wanted to try. And um, Whitney Stiles, who is another local Conway girl from where we're from, she spoke on um, bookings and talks about the Franks list. We've all heard of the Franks list. And she um, went into more detail about that. And then another girl, Rachel Bennington, shared how she codes hers. And that's what I wanted to share with you all. And so the Frank's List, for those of you who do not know, is friends, your friends, your relatives, your associates and acquaintances, your neighbors, your kids, contacts, like in different settings that you're in. That's just kind of a brief overview. But this is how she codes hers, and I liked it. So when she starts with the new recruit, someone who's come on, she – um, insist that they get their um, Frank's list together. So she, they make their list. You also may hear it as your list of 100. So you get your list of 100 together and you go through and you code it. And so how she does it is um, 
she has them circle the names of the people that live closest to them. Then she has them put a square around those who um, live outside of um, her circles that she could possibly, and when I say live, like farther, farther away than you could do a home party for. So those would be people that you would do an online party for and those that you might could do like a Zoom one-on-one -on -one with is what she mentioned. And then you would ostracize those who you know need some extra money and who um, you think would be really good at the business. And so she just talked about how she had them code them that way so that that would help them really know who they should target first and when. And then of course that, um, one thing that they mentioned often was that your Frank's list um, and your 100 list needs to be updated every six months. And I honestly think it probably needs to be done quicker than six months, like maybe in that four to five range months, because you know things change and they can change so frequently. So someone that you might have had a circle around, you might not have an asterisk by, or so you really just need to make sure you go through and recode. So I thought that was so cool. So that's one thing that I want to start doing with some of the new girls who join Jam Central is that when we join, let's get our list of 100 together and let's really code them so we know who we're targeting and what we're doing what we're trying to do as far as booking parties and getting girls to join. So the other thing I want to talk about just briefly is um, for this is for the U S and Canada girls only. And for those of you in Australia, New Zealand, in the UK, I, one of my first questions and you can even ask Anna was, is this international? And I asked, <laughs> um, I just shouted it out to Stacey Sova from the crowd. And she told me that it is not for international markets yet. But I got that impression, and Anna maybe can chime in also, that this will be coming for you all. It's just starting in the U.S. and Canada first. So it's awesome. They're providing us with a bundle, and it's going to save $33, um, this bundle. So in the bundle, you get four sheets of wraps. You get an application kit without oil, and then you also get a mini heater. She kind of broke it down, and she's like, basically, we're giving them the mini heater for a dollar, I believe is what she said, which is pretty cool because that's, like, awesome. I mean, who doesn't want a mini heater? We all know that the mini heater makes a world of a difference when it comes to putting on your jamberry uh, wraps. So $33 savings. Now, when you go and add the bundle into your cart, you will be able to upgrade your bundle. So let's say you wanted to do three, and before I go on, they have chosen the top wraps that you will be able to select in your bundle, so you will not be able to select every wrap. You will have, like, I think she said 40 choices of the most top-ordered wrap in Jamberry to select in your bundle. So you may not have every one. However, you will be able to add, say, three regular wraps and one premium, or you could add two premiums and two regular wraps. And what it does it will, is it will adjust your cart total. So you will have to pay more than, the, I think it's $58.50 for the actual bundle price. Your, your total may, may be like $61.50 if you decide to add a premium wrap because it's going to add the $3 for that premium wrap in. So there will be options for you to then exchange premium wraps into your bundle. So you don't just have to have the top 40. You can also have some of those premium wraps like Disney. In fact, they added one of the Dory wraps to the actual bundle that they showed us. They, they showed us a, a copy of the workstation and showed us how you would add it. So you can add, also add cuticle oil on if you wanted to. If some people decided they wanted the oil, that just increases the bundle just slightly um, so that you can pay for that extra cost. But it's going to be amazing. She said that we'll launch this week as in coming up in the next two days. So look for that for you U.S. and Canadians on the dashboard for exactly when. And, of course, we'll have tons of marketing um, pictures that we can use. But it's going to be an amazing thing when you think about um, people using that for gifts and um, that type of thing. In fact, a couple of girls shared that um, – you could um, give this as a gift. In other words, I could purchase it from someone's party, I keep the heater, and then gift out the four wraps. And then I've got five or four gifts for somebody because I purchased a bundle. So that's just like different things you can add on in your party to, you know, it would be good to get that bundle because you needed the heater, and then you would use the four gifts for teacher gifts or whatever it might be. So anyhow, that was one tip that was shared. But it was amazing yesterday. I cannot begin to tell you how – um, awesome any Jamboree event is. Um, they showered us with gifts yesterday. Ann and I were amazed. I think I came home with four sets of wraps and we got a color suite. I mean, you just, I mean, it's amazing the different things Jamboree gives. So ladies, 
big shout out, you need to go to any regional near you, even if you have to drive a little bit, it's totally worth it. So I'm going to stop talking now, so I will um, listen in. Jessica, do, um, did they say if you could get the bundle with host rewards? No, you cannot. That was one thing that um, was asked, and Stacy said that um, because they are discounting it so much, they just could not see to discount it one more time with host rewards. So you will not be able to get the bundle that way. Did they so, say the PRV is working? Um, did they say the PRV was working? She asked how, if the PR, if there was like how the PRV would work for that. And I don't remember them talking about that. They didn't, they didn't talk about that at all. So I don't really know. I'm assuming you'll get the 30% PRV off the 58, 5850. Is it 5850? That's how much it was. Uh, that sounds right. Yeah. Yes. Um, Cause so it's originally the, like, it's originally like 92 something. Yeah. 91 or something like that. So yeah. Um, I was going to see if I could go back and find my notes really quick. 5850, 33 savings. 9150 is the original price. So I'm assuming you would get the 30% of the 5850. And Heather asked or said, I assume you also cannot use a half off coupon. Yeah, probably not. It's just like any other like premium special type thing. Yeah. 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 Um, but awesome. Awesome. You've got to promote it. I mean, that's just yeah, an amazing opportunity. Oh my gosh. And yeah. someone said, is this going to be something you will have forever? And Stacy Sova said, is this something you want forever? And of course, everyone was like, yes. Woo! So I think this will be a special that they will have around for a while. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, I'm probably about to get in trouble because I'm just grading every wish ever. <laughs> so anyhow, okay, I'm muting myself. Bye. Thanks, Jess. Did you, uh -huh. Anna, did you want to do your shout outs before I do the first training talk? Yeah, yeah, I'll do that real quick. All right. And I just wanted to um, kind of tag on to what Jessica was saying. Um, first of all, Jessica and I are way closer because of this regional. I mean, I think we talked a million hours, it feels like. Um, and it was definitely a business write-off because, like she said, I don't think we'd stop talking about Jamboree until the last 30 minutes when we were really tired and cranky. Um, but I also um, got the opportunity to speak. And um, I've never spoken in front of that many women before in my entire life. So I just want to say props to Jamberry for letting people like me who have never had any experience like that um, speak on something that we are passionate about. And that just goes to show that you can really do anything in this business if you put your mind to it. Um, and as a leader, you will grow and you will learn um tons and tons and tons and i've grown more than i ever thought possible and so just keep that in mind um go to as many events as you can and continue growing yourself you never know when you're going to get an amazing opportunity um besides being a jambray consultant which is already an amazing opportunity so i wanted to shout out a few people from last month and i wrote it down okay so we had nine new team members um, for It's a Wrap in September. So I wanted to give a shout out to Denise, Sherry, Kelly, Kathy, Marie, Rachel, Amy, Jennifer, and Stephanie. So we had a couple of Mexico ladies join us. And um, I think we had at least one UK, maybe two. And so it was just really exciting. You, did, you guys did amazing. Um, we had a couple of rank advancements. Heather Kreischer promoted to lead, and I know she has wanted that forever, and she worked her little butt off and got it, and I was so proud. And Sarah Wall promoted to advanced consultant. Robin Cumming promoted to advanced consultant, and Julie Jones promoted to advanced consultant. So, um, and then a lot of people re-advanced to either senior consultant or lead or senior lead. So it was a really good month, and um, I'm very proud of so many people. And then I just wanted to shout out the top in sales. So the ladies with 600 PRV or more were Emily Henderson, Rachel Tawney, Heather Kreischer, Jeannie McCoy, Zara Vandekreek. Van Zara, Zara, I don't know why. I can't ever remember how to say that. I'm sorry, Zara. Zara. <laughs> who's on the call, Ann Billow, Jude, Brennan Ward, and Molly Stanton. And then both Jude and Molly had over 1,000 PRV, which is very exciting. So, yay. Good job, girls. Um, so that, those were my shout-outs, Molly, if you want to go ahead and do the first training. 
I, Emma said that she would share a few things from the- Oh, yay. All right, good. We'll let her go. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, yay. <laughs> All right, and Jillian, if you have anything else as well, because I saw you, you on- uh, on the call as well. If you wanted to say something as well. Yeah. So I don't have all my notes with me because they're in with the baby. But um, one of the things that was really big in the um, UK launch event was really following up um, with leads, trying to grow um, our teams as well. Um, a lot of it was with training with possible new recruits before they even sign up. So kind of having a pre-interview with them, um, kind of getting to know their background, um, what their why is letting them know about the compensation plan before they join um, and then making a customer list and, and just talking about everything before they sign up. Um, they said that's really important to get through um, all of the fast starts. And one of the things that I thought was really, really neat and kind of stuck to me was that um, they said that 90% of fast start achievers move through the ranks 70% quicker. So I thought that was something, you know, that's really good and really getting our new recruits to, to go through those. And what Molly said, that as well with having them um, get those calls with people in the home office is really neat. I know that was more special to me when I joined up. Um, they were telling us to be patient <laughs> with all the other things that are coming to the UK. We'll hopefully get the Disney wraps um, soonish, um, but we did get some new um, country pride um, wraps. We got the Scottish pride and the Welsh pride, um, and we got indulgence, and we've just got the remover and the cleanser. So that's, uh, that's all come here now. So we're getting there. Um, but it was really, really good. And it was so inspiring. And there was a bunch of us that got to meet up, which was, which was really nice. We got to know everybody. Um, so yeah, so I haven't got everything here with me. Um, we talked a lot about Christmas planning and how not to just stop um, for December, but to plan all the way through the end of January. Um, you know, Christmas is, is fun. Um, but we have to think through the new year as well. Um, we're going to be having a leadership um, academy, so that's going to be in March. Um, and then they're doing a um, an event for our anniversary as well. So it's going to be going to be fun. There's lots going on. Um, I think we're doing really well in the UK at the moment. So I, I'm really excited to see kind of where where we go in the next next six months. So, do you have anything else, Gillian? No, nothing else from me. I think you've kind of hit the nail on the head. I think the big thing for me was really just about setting goals, making them achievable. So rather than kind of reaching away off and saying you want X amount of PRV to kind of split it down so that you can mm -hmm. really kind of work the compensation plan for you. And again, just plan, plan, plan. So that's something I'll be taking away from, from the event as well. And it was nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else have anything to share before I jump in? Yes, I want to echo what Emma closed with, talking about planning through um, planning through uh, December into January. The last several years, Jamberry has done double trip points for sales in January. So if any of you have just been drooling over the thought of going on a Jamboree incentive trip, booking a full January can, can get you there. Um, I know that a lot of the trip achievers um, had huge Januaries and that's how they're you know, able to get a jump on earning the incentive trip. So, um, so just keep that in mind. Um, Jamboree every year does an amazing trip and it will be something that you'll never forget. So um, think about that as you're you know, working through the holidays and, and booking into January. Um, so the first, we have three training topics today. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about recruiting. And then Anna's going to talk about um, Punta Cana again and um, filling up your calendar um, through the holidays. So hopefully this will be beneficial. Um, uh, yes, I was just reading Anna's question. Yes, we did talk about the – was there another – are you talking about the Jamboree one or – just the the uh, jam gram. I just wanted to make sure we went through everything that they had said. Okay. 
Awesome. Yep. Okay. All right. So training topic one, the home stretch recruiting. So think about, I want you to think back to when you were thinking about joining Jamberry. Um, think back to how your sponsor offered the opportunity to you. Um, hopefully, if um, Anna or I or Jessica were your sponsor, hopefully we <laughs> offered it to you in an appropriate way. Um, but think about um, if it was someone you knew, um, someone you had a relationship, just think back to when you joined and why you joined and kind of that whole process and, and use that as you share the opportunity with other people. Um, so I was thinking, you know, back to when I joined and I think, and I'm, and you, you will change how you share and approach, you know, sharing the opportunity with people based on the person you're sharing with. Um, but I know for, for me, when I joined, um, you know, Anna knew me and we had a relationship and she knew the things that were going on in my life and she knew how Janberry could, could help with some of those things that were going on in my life. And, but she also knew that, um, this sort of thing wasn't really my personality. And so she wasn't pushy about it or, um, so I think she did a really good job of just planting little seeds over a course of several months. Um, and I don't know if that's how she does it with everyone, if that's just how she did it with me. Um, but, um, so think about, think about that and think about, um, you know, how you were presented the opportunity and what made you want to join and just try to keep that in your mind when you're sharing with other people. Um, and I know that I try to use that, that same similar, um, technique when, when sharing with people, you know, I just see it as sharing and, um, I try to do a lot of listening and hear what, their needs are and how Jamberry could serve them and meet those needs. Um, so recently I met someone and I haven't actually started the recruiting process with her yet, but I recently met someone when I was doing an event at a mall and she had two very small children and she was expecting her third and in her, I didn't see so much of a financial need. Maybe they do have financial needs. But in her, I saw, you know, she looks like she could use some community. Like she could use something just for herself. She had, like I said, she had two very small children and she was pregnant and just looked exhausted and just was just craving something for herself. And she had, um, she was, had been wanting to buy Jamberry for a while and, um, was really excited that my, I had my, my table there at the event and she was just going on and on how she was going to, you know, go home that night and, you know, put her kids to bed and just have some time for herself. And so I'm just thinking, okay, this, the, you know, for her, you know, I kind of had some, you know, I, I don't know the right word. Um, what word am I looking for? Not red flags, but you know, something like I had like, um, oh, I don't even know how to, just thinking, oh, I need to talk to this lady. I need to put her on my list. I need to start building a relationship with her and get to know her because I think that Jamberry could be a blessing for her. Um, I think she could use some community. I think she could use some some friends and some women around her who are in a similar stage of life. I think she could use something just for herself. Um, so when you talk to people at events and parties and you know people you know people you don't know, really listen and 
think about how Jamboree could be a blessing to them. Um, so that was just something that I was thinking about with, with recruiting. And I haven't, I haven't talked to her yet about joining. Um, she bought for me. I sent her some stuff. I'm not going to just throw it all up on her. Um, I'm just kind of planting seeds and getting to know her right now. And then I, I'm hoping that next month when I'm at that same location that maybe she'll come and we can talk some more. Um, um, so anyway, most recruits stem from someone who you have created a relationship with. So that's what I'm trying to do with this lady that I met, a host, family member, or a friend. Creating a relationship of trust will give you confidence when you approach them and offer the Jamboree opportunity. So for those of you in the U.S. and Canada, make sure you're using the current incentive to your benefit. Um, it gives you the perfect opportunity to go back and talk to people that you have approached previously. Um, you know, timing is very important and maybe someone you talked to a few months ago, it wasn't the right time for them. Um, you know, I might say something like, I know you were interested in Jamberry a few months ago when we talked, it wasn't the right time. Um, with the holidays here and you know this we have a very exciting incentive to join right now you know would you consider you know is now a good time for you would you consider um, learning more and I think I was thinking about for you ladies in the UK you know go back to some of those people that you talked to when you first joined and maybe um, Maybe they were interested, they were on the fence, maybe they wanted to see how it went for you before they committed. But I always go back to people um, until they just say a flat out, no, I'm not interested, you know, don't ask again. Um, you know, you can, it's okay to revisit people every four to six months. And so for you ladies in the UK, you know, it's been about what, six months since the launch. So think about some of those people you talked to when you first joined and just, you know, talk to them about some of the new products that are available for you all now. Talk to them about how, how it has gone for you these last six months, what you've learned, how you've grown. Um, if you think maybe something financial would speak to them, some of the things you've been able to do with, you know, your Jamboree money, um, and just say, you know, I know it wasn't a good time for you in April or in May or whatever, but would you consider learning more about Jamboree now? Um, I think you would really like it. I think you would be good at it. Um, so uh, offering the opportunity to host, make sure that you're asking every host, don't, don't ever prejudge. If they're hosting for you, they obviously really like the product. They like it enough to host a party and to share it with their friends. Um, and we've all had really good hosts that could have just run the party. Um, they're just so good at it. And so always, always ask the hosts. Um, offer Jamboree to your party guests. You know, I'm always noticing people maybe that boy, they have a lot of things they want to buy, but you can tell maybe money is an issue and they are really interested in Jamboree, but you know, there's just, you can just tell that um, maybe they can't afford um, to buy the product or whatever, but you know, really, really share the opportunity with all of your guests. Make sure whether it's an online party or an in-home party that you're, you know, inserting um, the, the opportunity into your, your talk, into your script, and that, you know, you're, you're talking with each guest um, as you do your full service checkout. Um, and let's see. One tip they gave for those of you who do home parties, during the full service checkout, um, offer the opportunity, especially if they are really close to already spending enough money to buy the kit. So if, let's say they have, they've ordered quite a bit of stuff and they're under $20 away from the kit price. 
you know, you might throw it out there, you know, for $15 more, you could join as a consultant and make 30% back for a year. Um, and so a lot of people will, will consider that. Um, so there's <clears throat> some things to avoid. Avoid the hard sell. Avoid, do you want to join my team? Avoid overloading them with too much information. Um, you know, instead of saying, do you want to join my team? You might try, have you ever thought about joining Danbury? Or, um, you know, would you like to, would you like to come check out my team page? You know, try to approach it from a less threatening, um, less threatening wording um, instead of just overwhelming them with too much. All right. Try to make your home parties and your Facebook parties fun so that people see how much fun you're having as a consultant uh, and that's attractive to them and you know they might want that in their life. Um, make sure that you know the compensation plan, the rewards, um, the you know the the basics of the fast start so that you can share things with them at appropriate times um so i hope that yeah i hope that that is helpful if anyone has anything they would like to add or any questions about recruiting um feel free to interject those I guess I just want everyone to, I want sharing the Jamboree opportunity to just be something I do and something you do like we do anything else. Um, no different than chatting and sharing about other things in our life. Um, that it's just a part of our life and a part of who we are. And, um, you know, we just naturally share it and how it has blessed us without, you know, making it sound like a sales pitch. <coughs> so, so think about that these next couple of months, especially. And you'll be, you'll be setting yourself up for a really big next year. Um, all right. All right. Is that it, Molly? Is that what you have? I think that's it. Okay. That was really good. I mean, I, I um, just wanted to just touch on what Molly did. You know, when I first joined, um, I felt like I had to, um, I felt like sharing the opportunity was being salesy. But if you do think of it as just, I'm just chatting with people and sharing my life as if, if, if it was anything else. And, it, and then it doesn't seem as daunting and it doesn't seem as, oh, I'm about to share the Jamboree opportunity. Let me, you know, change my way of thinking or change how I'm speaking. No, you just keep chatting because Jamboree is something you love and it's something you're passionate about. So you just talk about it like you do everything else. So I think if we get out of our own minds and out of our own heads um, and, you know, um, I think it'll just make it easier to, to get into the habit of just naturally sharing and then it doesn't sound like you're being salesy. And then you don't feel like it. And yes, it does take practice. You know, there are sometimes I still kind of feel like, oh, they're going to think I'm salesy. But just just keep, you've got to do it a bunch. That's, that's part of the job. And um, talking to people is something that we do a lot. So we'll just throw Jamberry in there. All right. So I just wanted to go over a couple of things that were also in the meeting planner. Um, so Punta Con Punta Cana Punta Cana. I always want to say Punta Cana. I don't know why, but I want to throw a T in there in the Cana. So Punta Cana is getting here. It's coming soon, and I know those of you that just joined are like, "Oh my gosh, I can never earn it." Well, all I know is there are ladies who earn it in just a few months, and I know last year Jessica Faulkner. Uh, busted her, her butt and she earned, I don't even know how much, but she want, she earned that trip in just the last few months. Yeah, Jess. So it is completely doable. If you set your mind to anything, 
you can do anything you want to do. So, and if you don't think you can, we'll start getting those habits um, integrated into your life and your business so you can start thinking about the 2017 trip because they're going to announce it soon and it's going to be super exciting and you're going to want to hit that ground running. Like Molly said, normally they do the, the um, double trip points in January. So if your January is just packed, chocked full of January events and parties and demos, and you will just get your year started off great. So, and that's another thing too that I didn't realize when I first joined January, because I joined in December of 2013, so I'm coming up on three years. And boom, I was into January and I was like, I don't, no one even wants to do anything because I didn't even know I should like use, use December to start packing, you know, things into January. So we already ha always have to be thinking ahead. And if we are always thinking ahead and making sure that we are looking into the next month and the next two months, the next three months, then we're never going to get to a month and be like, I have nothing scheduled because that's not the place that we want to be. So remember for each PRV is one point for the trip points to earn Punta, Punta Cana. It's 30,000 uh, points and you get paid as rank points as well. So your rank really helps. You get those extra points and those range anywhere from 150 to 1200, depending on your rank. So the elite executives get 1200 every month. Fast start points. 300 for new consultants uh, and recruits that achieve their first fast start period. And then attending a January event you get points for. For conference this year we got, was it 1,200? Yeah, we got 1,200 points for going to conference. So it is completely worth it to go to as many events as you can. Um, so figure out how many points you have left to achieve Punta Cana. If it really is not doable, like I said, go ahead and start planning for your January to be full so you can start on that 20. 17 trip and then if you are you know you have if you have some points and you've been around for a while break it down to how many you need break that down to how many wraps you need to sell or how many gel kits you need to sell and go out and book those fundraisers book those one-on-ones I this past week was a crazy week for me my daughter turned five I had to prepare for st. Louis it was crazy but at the same time, I was booking one-on-one -on -one demos for this next week. So I already have three and a possible fourth one at my house. I said, hey, I'm available from this time to this time. I'm going to have coffee and snacks. Come try out my gel kit. And two of them are new customers to me from uh, some other consultant that's not doing it anymore. Never tried the gel. Never excited. So whatever it may be, schedule those one-on-ones, schedule those fundraisers, schedule those parties, and get those trip points. Because even if you don't earn it, your business will succeed if you try. Because you are going to try and bust your butt to try to get it, and building those habits of every month. And that's why I really like that Jamboree is doing this consistency incentive. Because if in our minds we're thinking, okay, just every month we're not going to do less than 900 PRV and two recruits. And it's really getting me into that habit of I can't do less than that. Like that is my minimum. And so it's, I, it's totally helping my mindset. So make sure you just kind of keep that in your mind, 902, 902. So if you're striving for that every month, then you're going to, then you're going to do really good, really good things. So let's see. And then, I, and then kind of along the same lines, uh, I wanted to just talk about filling up your calendar. Again, filling it, filling it up as far in advance as you can. Uh, I just can't believe that it's October 2nd. And the end of 2016 will be here before we know it. And the holidays are coming. This is like the f most exciting time of year. Not just because it's the holiday season, but Jamberry does amazing things during the holiday season. And Stacy Sova hinted that there may be some awesome holiday-ish things coming. So make sure that you're planning those holiday parties and, um, you know, just really making sure that you're, the rest of 2016 is completely full into January. And if you start thinking about January now, then that's going to set the tone for 2017. <clears throat> um, let's see. So yeah, plan some themed parties 
for the fall and holiday. Don't get ahead of yourselves. Right now we're looking at Halloween. You know, start thinking about Halloween once you've booked all your Halloween events, parties. Then start thinking about Thanksgiving. Then start thinking about, you know, maybe before Christmas doing some things. Contact past hostesses to book a holiday party. You know, you can change it up a little bit. You can have, uh, you can do something online or in person or both. You can talk to a new lead. You can do different ideas, you know, deck the nails party. Um, there's a bunch of fun stuff you can do. Cookie exchange, secret Santa exchange, a ghoul's night out. Huh, that one's cute. A ghoul's night out. Um, you can have a block party. I was talking to Jessica Faulkner yesterday or the day, I don't know, one of the two days we were driving like six or seven hours. Um, about how I have so many neighbors that I've not talked to. And I kind of feel like I'm, I'm this little old spinster lady in my neighborhood because I like to keep to myself in my neighborhood, which is funny because I'm a very social outgoing person, but I need to reach out to my neighbors more. And it's funny because my husband is way more friendly. He'll wave to everybody and I'll be like, I don't want to talk to anybody right now. So I don't want to wave to anybody. So why are you waving? They're going to come over here and talk to me. And I'm like, and then like, as I'm saying that, I'm like, Anna, what is your problem? So, you, you need to get out into your neighborhood, have a block party. I've thought about doing that before too, for the holidays that are coming up and, um, have a battle of the hosts competition. I've done that before. That's super fun. If you've had hostesses that have, um, you know, enjoyed doing parties in the past, you could do, Hey, I'm going to do a battle of the hostesses. Let's add you to this one group. And you'll both be the host and add your customers and we'll see who gets the most rewards and maybe have a prize for, you know, the most orders or whatever. Um, book 10 parties. Try to book at least 10 parties for this holiday season. Make that your minimum goal. If you make that your minimum goal, then that's going to be amazing. So then, you know, we always have a couple people cancel. So if you've booked at least 10 and you have two cancel, you still have eight. You know, if you only book two and two cancel, you have none. <laughs> so book 10 and you'll be setting yourself up for success. Uh, let's see. You can be a Jamberry personal shopper. You can provide bundle ideas, which again, for the U.S. and Canada, Jamberry has made this super easy for us this year. Um, offer to gift wrap things. Maybe say, hey, if you want me to... Uh, if you want to order something for a Christmas gift, I'll have it sent to me and I will gift wrap it really nicely for you. Some people love that idea. I am actually doing, and I've talked about this before, I'm doing pre-holiday cards this year instead of Christmas cards to my VIPs. I am doing, and I'm hoping to send them maybe middle of October, and I'm going to say, surprise, I am sending you a pre-holiday card because there's a lot of holidays this season, not just Christmas. So they're going to get it early. They're going to still be doing their Christmas shopping. I'm going to thank them profusely for being an amazing VIP. I'm only selecting 40 to 50 of my VIPs um, that have really um, been really good customers and hostesses the last year. And I'm going to thank them for supporting my small business. and. And then at the very end, and I'm handwriting all of these in little cute holiday cards, I'm going to say, remember, Jamboree makes great gifts. So, and I'm going to add, I was going to add just my own little bundle ideas, but now that Jamboree came out with this new bundle, um, I may try to print that off and stick that in there as well, because it's a really good deal. It would be a really good Christmas gift. And I'll, I'll um, you know, say, hey, if you want me to order it, now gift wrap it for you, and then I'll send it to you or whatever. So that's what I'm doing this year instead of Christmas cards. So hopefully my card will stand out amongst all the other Christmas cards that they will be getting in December. So uh, another thing that they said, Jamboree makes a great stocking stuffer and it easily fits into a holiday card without extra postage. So that's a really, really good um, kind of tip for, for asking people if they want to get Jamboree for Christmas, especially if they're wanting to mail something to somebody. So... Let's see. That's pretty much all I had. I just want to make sure that you guys really focus this month on what your business potential is for the end of 2016. Um, the, the year is far from over. There are going to be many things that happen. I can't wait to see all the rank advancements, the people that earn Punta Cana, 
um, the new recruits that we see come into our family. It's going to be amazing. And, you know, try to map out that plan for the next few months to see what that looks like for you, for your business. You know, how many recruits does that look like for you? You know, does it include achieving Punta Cana? Does it include parties, parties and more parties? Hopefully, yes. Um, so we're in that home stretch. Let's make sure we set and achieve those goals for 2016. And I did want to mention too, Jessica and I are working, we hadn't talked to Molly about this yet, but we're working on getting maybe more of a streamlined fast start group uh, using some of Rachel Bennington's like onboarding new consultants. Um, she has a bunch of graphics and scripts and stuff. And we're trying to formulate a plan on how to streamline for all of my downlines. So that would be Molly's downline, Jessica's downline, anyone that has anyone under them would be in my downline. And so, so we would have one group and I know we've all had like different fast start groups and we're in a million groups and we're still brainstorming this, but I want to, I want to make sure that all of our new consultants are being taught the same way and are having the, um, ha having all of the graphics and scripts that they need accessible to them so that they can achieve those triple fast starts because it is so helpful in our businesses. And um, so I'll let you guys, we'll let you guys know once we kind of talk through that and hopefully we can come up with a more streamlined, basic uh, group for everybody. And um, that would be super awesome. So it is four o'clock. Um, I guess we should wrap this up, huh? Mm -hmm. But um, Molly, Jessica, do you guys have anything else to say? Are you good? No. Um. I know last year we had like an extra team meeting um, in the holiday season and we kind of brainstormed. I yes. If anyone would like to do something like that, I can't remember. I, I think we did it last October. We did it with someone on our upline too. And we just brainstormed ideas for um, booking um, a full calendar during yes. the holiday. Um, and that was really helpful. Um, so maybe we should do something like that. Yeah, like towards the end of October, maybe. Yeah, because or before. I know. I um, I got a lot of sales. I got seven or eight hundred PRV last November through doing order swaps with people from other companies, um, and I got a lot of new customers out of that. So. Um, it might be fun to, to brainstorm some ideas to boost our, our sales. Um, cause when you're, when you have high sales during the holidays, that's going to give you extra money to, to get things for, for the people that you care about. Um, and that's another big recruiting, recruiting tool as well. Um, there, I think there's what, 12, 12 weeks, 12, something until Christmas I saw. Yeah. <laughs> well, I saw some graphic too with the L for somebody. Yeah. Something until Christmas, so. <laughs> but, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, let's plan that. I think that's a really good idea. We can just kind of brainstorm. We'll call it a holiday team meeting or a holiday whatever. Yeah, very informal. No training. We can just kind of all chat. It's all ideas, yeah. Ideas for. Yeah, so look for that coming. So be thinking of um, different ideas that you may have for the holiday season and, and let us know if you want to share and you can come. So, all right. Well, thank you guys for coming. I appreciate it. Molly recorded. So I'll, I'll let her upload at some point. Um, and yeah, thank you guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.